I'm Adam. And I'm Sugar. And this, and this is, is Where There's, where there's a, a Williams, Williams There's, there's a, way. a Way. Hey, Sugar. Do you believe in unicorns? I've never seen one before. But then again, I love cold and wet climates that not many others really enjoy. But you think that unicorns really are roaming around somewhere? I think that the idea of unicorns is what inspires people. What do you mean? I mean that there are a lot of people out there that want to be different, but not really truly stand out too much. Unicorns are magical creatures that look pretty much like a horse. People can identify with that. Well said. In today's book, Kitty identifies as a bit different, but those around her don't see it. Let's get started. Itty Bitty Kitty Corn by Shannon Hale, illustrated by Leyuan Fong. Kitty thinks she might be a unicorn. A horn sits atop her fuzzy head, pointing up, up, up to the sky. She feels so perfectly unicorny. Look at me, says Kitty. You're not a unicorn, Putty Pie, says Parakeet. You're curled up like a cat, Fluffy Fry, says Gecko. Kitty stands tall. She prances on her pod clawed unicorn hooves. She gallops on her eensy weensy unicorn legs. Look at me, says Kitty. You're still not a unicorn, Fuzzy Hiney, says Parakeet. You have a stubby tail, teeny tiny, says Gecko. Kitty closes her eyes. She concentrates, and poof, her tail puffs up fat. Whoa, maybe Kitty is a magical creature. She just willed herself to having a fat tail. She's a bit of a shapeshifter. Well, when a cat's tail fluffs up and doubles its size, it's experiencing a phenomenon known as piloerection. Tiny muscles in the skin at the base of the hair follicles contract and make the hair appear to be standing on end. It's an instinctive reaction to make themselves look bigger. You can use all the big words and fancy explanations that you want, but she did that on purpose. I can't do that with my tail. Can you? I don't have a tail. Magic! Look at me, says Kitty. You're never going to be a unicorn, Fuffy Foo, says Parakeet. You meow in your sleep, Miffy Mew, says Gecko. Nay, says Kitty. Nay, nay. She sticks her pink nose in their ears in case they didn't hear. Nay! You're a cat, says Parakeet. And that's that, says Gecko. Still, Kitty's unicorn heart beats harder. She lifts up her front hoof and sweeps her magnificent tail. The sun is low, the shadows are long. At last, she looks exactly how she feels. Ha ha! Look at me now! yells Kitty. Wow! says Parakeet, astonished. Woo! says Gecko, impressed. Finally they see me, thinks Kitty. Until... Gecko points with his fat-tipped finger. Now that is a unicorn. The unicorn brandishes his horn. He sweeps his magnificent tail. He neighs a mighty neigh. <laughs> Suddenly, Kitty feels no bigger than a ball of lint. Why do you think that Kitty feels so tiny? I'm not just talking about a cat being much smaller than a horse or unicorn. When you put someone up on a pedestal, they always seem much bigger than they are. You're incredibly insightful today, sugar. I just got out of an ice bath. It's the best way to have a clear head. I knew that ice baths have several benefits, but I never knew that a clear head was one. I thought that the increase in blood circulation would want you to make you move, not calm you down. It does when you have a sweet coat like I've got. Pardon me, says Unicorn. Yes, squeaks Kitty. I so admire your fuzzy ears and silver whiskers, says Unicorn. You do? says Kitty. And I wondered... 
unicorn looks right, and then left. Did you know? What? Says Kitty. Did you know? Says Unicorn, whispering now. What? What? Yells Kitty. Did you know? Says Unicorn. That I am a Kitty Corn? Kitty gasps. Her tiny tail twitches with joy. Yes, says Kitty. I see that now. You are a Kitty Corn. You're a fuzzy, furry, adorable Kitty Corn. Unicorn nods. I knew that another kitty corn like you would see. Yes, says Kitty. I see you. Kitty and Unicorn are both kitty corns. Kitty trots on her soft, teeny paws, and Unicorn pads on his huge golden hooves. They both like to toss their manes and brandish their horns. They both like to scamper after bumblebees and stretch out in a patch of grass. And when the sun is low, their shadows merge until you can no longer tell one from the other. Well, look at that. They found a like-minded person. I don't know if I would like that. You wouldn't like having someone with the same interests as you? Sure, I love ice and freezing water, but I don't know if I would want to talk about that all the time with someone. You can talk about anything you want. In fact, I think it would be refreshing to find someone to talk about your uniquely specific interests that only a few other people share. Eh, pretty much everybody likes ice, so that's not really a problem here. Okay, well, I'm glad that Kitty and Unicorn have found each other. Do you know what else I'm glad about? Does it have something to do with liking the video and subscribing to the channel? That's 100% true. Thanks in advance. I'm Adam. And I'm Sugar. And this, and this is, is Where well, There's, there's a, a Williams, there's, there's a, a Way. Did you know the first known drawing resembling a unicorn decorates the walls of the ancient Lascaux Caves in southwestern France dating to 15,000 BCE?